So I'm on the distance learning program uh, for AISM, and I'm talking parents or students through this website. I'm clicking from tab to tab. And this is just an example. I just had a chocolate chip cookie and I found chocolate on my fingers and it was showing up in the video. So I got to figure out a way to cut that out. Once I finish, I'm ready to go ahead and edit this video. So I'm going to click up here and click the stop button. And that's going to take us to our editor. This is the video that we just recorded. This first option it gives us is the immediate trimming function. What that does is it may, it's, it's, if you recorded one single video and you just need to trim a little bit off the front and a little bit off the back, meaning you started a little bit late in the video or you let, left it recording after you were finished, you can take this tool before you really begin editing anything. These two scissors buttons on either side here are your trim buttons. If you click on the left and you hold it down and drag it, that's going to take you to wherever you want the video to start. This side, you're going to take it to wherever you want the video to end. See that? So now it no longer starts over here. It starts a little bit in right here. And it no longer ends at the very end of the video you recorded. It ends where you selected to trim it. This is the total length of the video that I'm, I'm recording. So I would take that video and I would go save trim. Am I sure? I'm sure. Now it's going to open that video that I just cut down in the exact same kind of window in case I want to trim it again. At this point, I'm only editing out the very beginning and the very end. I'm just cutting it down. Once I'm happy with the overall length, I go to up here where it says open in editor. That's going to open this in a new window. This is an online application that allows you to make basic edits to your video. Among those editing choices, you really have three options. Those three options are cut, crop, and text. You also have the option to delete a clip. Once you've set where you want a section to begin and end, you can, you can move it around or you can delete it. And of course, you have the undo and redo functions, just like in any other piece of software that you're used to using. This video, if you remember, is the one where I had the chocolate on my finger. Now, I don't want to send that out to parents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cursor, right, my arrow, to scroll through my video down here, and I'm going to find that spot where I notice the chocolate on my finger. That looks gross. So right before I get there, I'm going to leave my cursor right there. This is also called your playhead. This thing right here, this line that shows where you are in the video file. Put it there. I'm going to hit cut. That splits my clip into two new clips. Now I'm going to click my play button to find out where I want the video to resume. There, that's a good spot where I can resume my video. With the playhead right there, see that gray line? I'm going to click on cut again. Now, I have isolated this whole section that's gross with the chocolate, and I don't want it in my video. I'm going to click on it so it's surrounded by this blue line, and I'm going to click on the trash can, delete. Now, that cut is still there where my last clip ended and my new clip begins. If we play through it now, Now that may not be the perfect edit, but you get the idea. I've cut out the section that I don't want there. Once you've done that, you can still fine tune it with these little handles right here. If you wanted to cut it a little bit further in, you can use those handles to adjust where, those ed where that edit point is. Now let's say there's a specific section of the video that you want to zoom in on after you've already recorded it. I just wanted to show this menu section over here. You can take your crop button and draw a crop window just like in other software that you're used to. Get your section just right where you want to crop in and click done. That's going to apply the crop. Notice our video is just showing that one section. Well that one is a little too zoomed in. I want to show some of the stuff that's going on over here so I'm going to undo it. And then your last available tool of course is the add text tool. That's pretty self-explanatory. You click that button and it gives you a little window where you can write 
anything you want. You can adjust the font, you can adjust the style, bold, italics, underline, you can highlight the text, the formatting. You may be asking, how do I move text on the screen? It doesn't have a lot of functionality there from what I can tell. So keep that in mind when you're adding titles. Okay, here you can move it to the top of the screen. You can move it to the bottom of the screen. You can left justify it, you can center it, right justify, that kind of thing. If you really need to use it, it's a useful tool. I wouldn't overdo it because it doesn't give you that much flexibility. You're gonna to wanna to play around with this for a while. It's not gonna come immediately. Do some cuts, do some tests, do some undos, add some text, mess around with it a little while, and, and, and I think you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. 